Hey everybody, it's Father Mir. How are you? I'm doing well. Hope you had a good, hopefully an extended uh, weekend. Martin Luther King Day was this Monday. And last Sunday, it was really beautiful to have the wedding at Cana proclaimed, experienced at Mass, that great luminous mystery. Let me tell you about a little miracle of water turning into wine right here in our own parish community and in our diocese. Um, it's St. Joseph Church. You remember several months ago, I said, hey, St. Joseph Church, our brothers and sisters, the other side of town, their church burnt down, and they want to build a beautiful church for Mass and for the community there. And I said, let's, let's offer some of our financial resources. And we stepped up and offered a very generous uh, financial gift to help them build their church. Well, a couple Saturdays, Saturdays, I was there at the church dedication, and let me tell you, it's a beautiful thing. Money is like water. You need it for life. It's valuable, easy to waste. <laughs> And um, the Lord took that gift of our financial resources and he turned it into the wine, the uplifting, intoxicating gift of um, a new Catholic church. So thanks be to God for that act of stewardship. Thank you to you and everyone who participated in that. And I hope you can get over there to see St. Joseph Church, 40th Street and Shea. And that's where you'll see the uh, water turned into wine. That's what the Lord does. A couple other things I want you to keep in mind for coming up in these next few days. Remember how I said the bishop was coming here for a special mass on January 25th? Canceled. That's canceled. Not going to happen. January 25th, not going to happen. Um, if we are going to be doing some, we'll, we'll be doing some CDA stuff, but that's coming down the road. Also, did you know that the Porters of St. Joseph are our new men's Catholic ministry dedicated to keeping us safe on campus? Great bunch of guys. Really excited for this ministry. If you're looking to get involved in that, we have a, 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 we have a scheduled orientation January 22nd, Saturday, 1130 a.m. to 330 p.m. That's in St. James Hall. Also, my gosh, all sorts of good things coming. Look, I'm not going to go into excruciating detail. It's all down below. But I do want you to keep in mind that we are looking for a faith formation assistant staff position. If you know of anybody like that, tell them. If they want to help to evangelize people here at this parish, that's what we're doing. Also, the doc's opening back up, 10% off on all books. And um, we're having a special... Uh, gift basket giveaway on January 28th. So you spend 20 bucks or more in our gift shop on Catholic stuff, you might get that basket. Everybody, thanks be to God for January. School's going full speed here. All of our programs, all of our ministries, it's going great. And I pray that the Lord will take the water that you give him and turn it into the intoxicating wine of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Oh, here's the last thing. Before I say, God bless you, see you soon. Um, you know what? You know, we, um, we are blessed at this parish that we've got a lot of... Um, beautiful things. We've got a beautiful uh, choir. Our choir is still kind of coming back from the Christmas season. So it's a great chance for me to say, let's really focus in a special way on singing the mass, singing the mass parts, singing the Gloria, singing the Lord be with you, and singing the, the hymns that we sing at mass to all of this opens up our hearts and unites us body and soul to Christ's worship of the father in the mass. So got it. Okay. So this Sunday, get those hymns out, get the worship aid going and sing, you know, so we worship God with our bodies not just our souls, okay? So we're going to do that even better this coming Sunday. I'll see you soon.